So we have a very special guest right now. Um, one of the advantages to uh, working in this mayor's administration is that she pays very close attention to everything that's going on in her agencies. One of the disadvantages is that she pays very close attention to everything that's going on in her agencies. And I know as a fact uh, that we send reports every week and the mayor reads them. And so every initiative we've talked about, every effort that the Office of Victim Services and Justice Grants has been working to advance. Uh, has been uh, work that we've been doing with the mayor's keen eye focused on them and her input. And so I am very pleased that uh, she's made time in her very busy schedule to come down and talk with us because uh, she's made clear that uh, fighting sexual violence in the city and making sure that our campuses are safe is a top priority for her. And so thank you very much, Mayor Bowser. Well, it's it's great to see so so many people here, and I want to thank you uh, for coming to talk about a very important issue uh, to us in the Bowser administration. I want to thank Smitty for his leadership um, of our office uh, in his focus on uh, how we can really make a difference in the lives of people of all ages in the District of Columbia. Uh, frequently, we, we talk about rape and sexual assault as a women's issue, and it indeed uh, is a w women's issue in many ways, um, but it affects everybody. And so we want to make sure that our initiatives, our funding, our programs, all of the uh, advertisement and marketing is around how we can stop rape and sexual assault um, in our city. Uh, and certainly a focus on our college campuses uh, is, is a big one uh, for us. So again, I want to thank Smitty, but I also see Kimberly Bassett here who leads our uh, women's policy and initiatives. Uh, and she has a, actually a task uh, related to working with all of you on how to improve the climate in the District of Columbia. Um, and. That's why this, this conference is, is so uh, unique and important for us. We do have one of the, the most robust victim services programs in the country, um, but we can always be better. And so that's why I've asked Smitty to really look at everything that we're doing to make sure the investments that we're making are actually making a difference. Uh, I tell my staff all the time, we don't get an A for effort. Uh, we only get graded on results. Um, um, and so that's why it is so important that we're looking at the investments that we're making uh, to make sure that they're having the impact that we intended. So I want to thank also Neil. Where's Neil? Neil, thank you for, for your help. And the staff of Men Can Stop Rape for um, organizing this conference uh, and putting a, a focus on um, the men across our city and making sure we're getting the ideas from you that help us deal with this this issues. Um, we know that 30% of all sexual assault victims who access DC SANE um, and our forensic services are from college campuses and universities, which is a good thing um, because it means that students who have been victimized can connect to a continuum of care. As you'll hear today, we're planning to do more, launching a new You Ask app um, that will have better features and access to more resources. And we're continuing, we are partnering with Men Can Stop Rape on an initiative that will help you engage the entire campus in addressing violence towards women or intimate partner violence. I know that we were all troubled in, by recent reports that one jurisdiction had shelves and shelves and shelves of rape kits, which means shelves and shelves and shelves of what I call no justice. And so we also continue to look at our own ability uh, to our Department of Forensic Sciences, for example, and our partnership with the U.S. Attorney's Office and the FBI to make sure we have good, good evidence and that we put good, good evidence to use. I also, in the six months that I, I've been mayor, and I have a great team, and they do a lot of great work each and every day, so I have to say to myself, well, what's, what's the difference you can make, Muriel? And part of the difference that I can make is really looking across um, our stakeholders and partners and making the big asks, right? 
So what's the thing, if we look across the work that we do, that can make the biggest difference and it's the biggest lift or the big ask? Uh, so I can put the university presidents in a room and say, this is what we need that will really make a difference. Now we can pass a law, right? And we will. We can come up with the program and the outline, and we can, and we will. Uh, but we know so often that the difference between that effectiveness of that law or that new program is really the will behind implementing it and getting it done. So we can have this discussion to ask people to do something they don't want to do, right? They'll see it as a burden, or they don't want their college labeled as this or that, or they don't want another thing to do at orientation. Or we can also use our considerable um, skills at persuasion uh, to, to make sure that people are doing the right thing uh, for the people of the District of Columbia. Um, and, and that's what we're, we're gonna do. And we believe that UASC will serve as that critical resource uh, for students. So as a result of improving these connections, 30% of all sexual assault victims who access DC SANE um, will will we'll access it in a more effective way. So uh, that is our, our plan, and that's only the start of what we intend to do. Uh, we will continue to work with our partners on the DC Council, who I know are also interested in making sure we have the most robust laws. I'm gonna ask you to partner with Smitty and, and Kim on really identifying um, the metrics that we can use to follow our success. Uh, we're going to launch a project in the fall to really identify what is the state of issues affecting uh, women, for example, in the District of Columbia. And sex assault continues to be something that, that we have to monitor. I, for example, um, I get a daily report on all major crimes in the district. And uh, frequently, we don't know all the major sex crimes um, that happen. Uh, we have sex crimes that go unreported. Uh, we have sex crimes that may or may not be reported from college campuses. We have crimes that are, are not properly characterized as sex crimes. And we have crimes in homes um, that are sex crimes. So when we look across this, this whole, uh, the, the whole context of what we're dealing with, um, I just want to ask you to continue to be innovative and continue to think about the big thing that will make a difference. Because when I sit down in that room with those college presidents, that's not something that I do every month, um, but we're going to want to have a, a big initiative that will make a difference for, for, for many, many people. So continue to do the hard work, continue to ask the tough questions. And you know you've asked a tough question if somebody is squirming in their seat, right? So keep making them squirm. Um, keep challenging challenging them to, to make uh, women and girls and any victim of sex crime uh, safer in our city. So thank you for the work that you're doing today. Thank you.